This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Capricorn from July 21st to August 4th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? The High Priestess. The Hierophant. This is a divine couple. And the Four of Pentacles. There's someone here that you you haven't felt worthy of. It's like they were unattainable with this high priestess energy. There's a higher fat here. It's like there's there's an opportunity for this connection coming up in the next two weeks. Either you're reaching out to them or they're reaching out to you. Let's clarify this person, this high priestess. It's almost like there's already a spiritual connection, but it hasn't, it hasn't manifested into the physical yet. And somehow this person's coming in. Let's clarify the high priestess. Strength, Leo energy, it could be a Leo. And the chariot, Cancer energy. This person is getting brave here. They're getting through some sort of obstacle to get to you. It's it's almost like they're they're not thinking about something. They're just gonna do it. It's gonna be a very spontaneous event. And what's leading them to do this is it's like something. It's like they've overcome some sort of obstacle. The chariot pushes through obstacles. Very interesting energy here. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see what they say. What's the love interest's biggest fear regarding this connection? Six of Wands. The Queen of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. There's something here that that is a burden for you. And this person is coming in to, to help you with that. It's like, they're, it's like they're coming off some sort of victory. Like they got through some sort of obstacle that was in the way. A lot of exciting energy between you. You don't see this person coming. A lot of wands energy, so they, they could be a Leo, a fire sign. Let's clarify this ten of wands here. For them, power, Leo, for you, materialism. Mm. It's like this person's biggest worry is that you're working so hard like you're, you're so focused on material things that you won't, you won't have time for them. They feel that they can help you with something. There's some sort of intuitive knowledge that this person shares with you. It's some sort of connection, high priestess with the higher fan. What's something that will surprise you about this love interest? Ace of Swords. 
Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. You are very independent of this person. But they're seeing value in you. There's something that you're doing that, that has touched this person's soul. Like there, there's a lot of sentimental energy here with the Queen of Cups. I'm getting the sense that this person is divinely being led to you. Like they, they, they got through some sort of obstacle. I want to clarify the Six of Wands here for a sec. Hold on. Before we get to this Ace of Swords, this Epiphany, the Empress, and the Knight of Cups. So they're, they're coming with love. This person has matured. It's like they're kind of going with the flow, but in a way, they're acting... They're in a place where they had a lot of expectations of them. But with this victory, it's it's like they're, they're coming off some sort of recognition. So they're, they're busting out of that energy of being controlled by what others think of them to knowing what others think of them and having the confidence to come towards you. This is a very virtuous authentic love this person has for you. And with the Ace of Swords, for them, they see an opportunity It's like they've been waiting for this. They, there's something here with your energy and this person where it's like they didn't see it or they weren't capable to, to come to you. But this could be divine timing as well, where the opportunity, the epiphany came to them at the right time. They see that you are very strong, though I don't feel that you know how strong you are. Like you're very focused on the material, on something that you're producing. What initiative will the love interest take towards you? Good question. Two of Cups. Beautiful. There's a conversation coming. Queen of Swords. And the hangman. This person is coming in to tell you something. They want to help you. There's a cycle here that you're kind of tied to, that you, you're you almost repeating in a sense. And you're starting to see it for yourself, where it's like the same kind of thing keeps happening. The Two of Cups is that energy where Two people come together with mutual understanding, mutual respect. Could be a partnership that this person is proposing to you. But they've analyzed you. They have something to tell you. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. For them, duties for you. Learning. They, they feel that that it's almost like they're they're driven by this connection to you. It's like they, they feel they owe you. They need to tell you something. Something something about this cycle you keep repeating. It's, it's gonna be worth listening to them. In the extended, we'll look into what's the biggest obstacle that came between you and this love interest in the past? That's a perfect question because we saw that they broke through some sort of obstacle. We'll ask, what are the love interest's current feelings towards you at this very moment? 
that you're watching this. What does the love interest find most attractive about you? They see something in you. And we'll ask, what is the love interest looking for from this connection? The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.